Hi friends, welcome to Testing Tutorials Point. This is Lokesh Gorantra and today we are going to discussing about mobile automation testing by using Python. Hi friends, welcome back and the new session we are going to take it for today like uh, weight techniques. In this module, we are going to learn about implicitly and explicitly and fluent weight techniques, how we can able to, why we need for weight technique. See, basically what happens uh, whenever you use some weight technique, uh, like uh, before going to wait, like if you are going to open any website here, if you load for Google uh, website or some uh, web application, right? Okay, it will take some time to load, but our driver is trying to click uh, sending information to this particular text box, but this website is still is loading. That moment it is not able to send the information, then definitely our script will be fail with some exception, correct? But what will happen if it is fail, our script also completely fail, right? But we should not fail, but we can able to use time dot slip by default one. Okay. Time dot slip. What will happen if you provide 10 seconds to wait, but application is loaded in a fifth second, but it will wait for remaining five seconds. Then it will enter the information. If the element is visible or not visible, it will wait. Okay. Due to that, our selenium is provided for, there are a couple of things. One is implicitly and explicitly and fluent weight. Okay, in implicitly weight, if you are is in implicitly weight, it will completely load. It will wait for until complete web application in loading. The same format in an app also, in mobile app also, whenever you click something app, until the app is loading, that implicitly weight will work for you. Okay. Explicitly wait, it will wait for certain web element, certain web element time. Fluent wait also, it will work for the web element time only, but it will take for uh, some frequency. In this frequency, what will happen if you are providing 10 seconds, but the element is visible in a one second, it will uh, escape from that one second itself. Okay, how it will work and how we can able to implement it. We'll see now. I'm going to take already existing code. Implicitly wait directly, we can able to use driver.implicitly wait without any issue. Okay, now I'm going to use it for explicitly wait. For this, we need to uh, import for web driver first, like uh, implicitly wait, we need to import from Selenium. I'm going to use for Selenium wait only because uh, it will work for that. No need to bother about support and wait and we can able to web driver wait okay now i'm going to use for wait okay equal to web driver wait and here i'm going to referring for driver object reference comma and i'm going to use for 10 seconds of time Okay, these are the two options. Why driver object is provided the reference of that means if you provide the driver right, it will wait for certain uh, like it will take for all the actions which driver can do right. All the actions it will wait. Okay, then we can able to use it for here. Await dot util. Then we can able to use it here some condition which condition right the condition is basically whether that particular uh, uh, element is visible or not we are going to show you a proper error message from selenium web driver and support then we can able to use for input uh, expected condition as ec Okay, then comes to down and here EC dot. Okay, here we can able to choose for any kind of action. Okay, what type of action if you're taking that particular time it will take. See, uh, presence of element is located, visibility of the element located, element to be clickable, uh, text uh, to be presented, element title presented, alert. These are the so many exceptions are presented. We can able to choose any kind of 
action okay now i'm going to take for presence of element located or element to be clickable anything is okay okay now i'm going to take here i can able to use it uh, one small actions we need to perform mm. sorry by equal to appm by dot accessibility id comma and the value of the accessibility id and this is my accessibility it is taking the appm id right and i can able to pass it that id okay now i'm going to remove this value first then i'm going to copy this value i'm going to referring this okay now what i done right i'm going to save this entire information here it will return some uh, it will uh, refer it will provide for reference of this element okay it is the first element to be presented if that particular element is presented then it will return some true value then based upon that we are going to click for that element until we are waiting for that particular element to be clickable and what time there's a 10 seconds of time okay and this is the implicitly weight we can able to provide for 50 okay and if you run this particular script why i'm not using for time dot sleep right uh, basically what will happen this time dot sleep it will work for uh, uh, sometimes it will work as expected sometimes it will not work as expected oh sorry cmd appm iphone p uh, 4724 I'm going to run for appium server okay then it the element is presented wait some more time yes it is trying to run the server okay now server is ready now one more time I will run We can see the actions here it will take some time to click and all if you provide in case the element is presented immediately then it will click immediately also now see it is loading now it is clicked and now again it is clicking for save button location save okay like this we can able to click and we can able to save by using this explicitly wait and implicitly wait implicitly wait it will wait for until the app is completely load okay explicitly wait it will wait for until the element is presented okay this way we can able to use and next video session time we can able to see fluent wait as well okay thank you for watching subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues and don't forget to comment on this video thank you